is about integration of rational functions by partial fractions. So to begin, let me just remind you what a rational function is. A rational function is a polynomial divided by a polynomial. So for example, I could have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 1 over x squared plus 3x minus 1. So the top is a cubic polynomial and the bottom is a quadratic polynomial. Um, so the degree of a polynomial is just the power of the highest term. So in this case we have a degree 3 polynomial. Uh, divided by a degree 2 polynomial. <laughs> and our first step will be to turn any rational function into a polynomial plus a special rational function that the polynomial on top will have lower degree than the polynomial on the bottom. <laughs> and we achieve this by doing long division. So to show you um, why we use long division, let me first just review long division for natural numbers. If I perform long division with 3 and 71, well I see how much 3 goes into 7, goes in there two times, and I get 6. I subtract that and I get 1, I bring down the other one, 3 goes into 11 3 times, so 3 times 3 is 9, I subtract and I get 2. And going through all this tells you something useful about 71. It says that 71 equals 3 times 23 plus 2. <laughs> so the fraction 71 over 3 is a natural number plus 2 over 3. And the good thing about this is that 2 over 3 is a fraction that the number on top is smaller than the number on the bottom. So it's sort of a true fraction. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing with polynomials, and in fact, long division with polynomials, although it seems complicated, is actually easier because you don't have to sort of guess. Uh, here you sort of have to know, well, 3 goes into 7 two times, you have to sort of think through how many times it goes into it. With polynomials there's actually uh, no question about what you have to choose up here. So well, let's take the example I just wrote down. I'm going to divide x squared plus 3x minus 1 into x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 1. And I want to knock off the highest term, so the way I can do that is multiply this thing by x. And so when I do that, I get x cubed plus 3x squared minus x. I subtract that from what I have here and get 0 there. 2x squared minus 3x squared negative x squared negative 7x plus x gives me minus 6. Then we have a plus 1. And if I want to knock off this negative x squared term uh, I really have no choice. I need to multiply this by negative 1. So negative 1 times that will give me negative x squared minus 3x plus 1. And if I subtract these two things, I get 0. I get negative 6x plus 3x is negative 3x. And I get 1 minus 1 is 0. And just like before, the whole point of going through this is that now x cubed plus 2x squared 
minus 7x plus 1 is equal to the thing I was dividing by. times the quotient, x minus 1, plus the remainder, which is this negative 3x. So now we know that x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 3x minus 1 well, I'm just dividing this by x squared plus 3x minus 1. So this will get cancelled there. I'll get x minus 1. Then I'll have minus 3x on top. And all that on the bottom. So like I said, now we have just a polynomial. And here we have a rational function where the polynomial on top has lower degree than the one on the bottom.